it seem like we feel the same We love what we hate We lie, but we know We can't wire to it How to do not drain out your joy Your peace and your creativity Hello guys, this is Shundel and today's share is about do not draining out your joy, your peace, and your creativity. This is just a share from my own reading and of course from my own life experiences. I am old already and I already experience a lot of things in this life journey. And life has never been easy for me. I have to find my way to survive life. And how is that? Of course, with a mindset trick. And of course, with my prayer and meditation. Trusting it all to God. I am sharing this with you because I heard many of my friends. They are draining out their joy, their peace, and their creativity. And why is that? Because they let the anger buried in them. Anger, rejection, and heartaches. Do not bury the heartaches, the anger, and the rejection. Drain because that can drain your energy. You have to watch out what you are doing, what you are thinking, what others behaving upon you. You have to work it out and it will always start from your own mindset. It is about letting go of things. It becomes easier for you to let go of things when you are confident enough with yourself who you are. You know who you are. You know you are amazing. You know you are capable of doing great things. When you are confident enough with yourself, it becomes easier for you. To do not bury the anger, the rejection, and the heartaches. Yes, it cannot be avoided that people hurt us, that people rejected us, that people give us heartaches. It cannot be avoided. Therefore, it is very important. To be aware who we are. Know who you are. Why you are suffering this thing. For me guys, the heartache is there for a couple of days. But it will gone right away when you have the right mindset. And how is that? By believing in yourself. Knowing that you are confident enough. That you are good enough. You are God's child. You are God's creation and God created you amazingly great, amazingly talented, amazingly unique, and amazingly beautiful. Be confident with all these words. When you are confident with all these words, who you are, it becomes easier for you to do not let other people drain out your peace your joy, and your creativity. You trust yourself because you know yourself. You are confident enough who you are. When you are confident enough who you are, it becomes easier for you to handle some other things as well. And especially if you practice the prayer and the meditation, for me, it really helped me to where I am today. It helps me to stand on my own principle. It helps me to stand on my own decision. It helps me to do the right decision as well because I know who I am. 
I know that I did the good things. Of course, I have my faults. Of course, I have my own weaknesses. I have my own failure and mistakes because I am a human being. It's an everyone of us can commit mistakes and failure. But I am confident enough who I am because I know myself that I did good deeds to others. If other people cannot be contented of what I have helped them, of what I have supported them, it's all up to them. But I'm not going to drain out my peace, my joy, and my creativity just because of this person. Ephesians 4, 32 said, Be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other, just as in Christ God forgive you. We are all aware that it cannot be avoided. There are some toxic people, toxic experiences that surround us. Yes, the pollution in the air and the people nearby. Toxic people cannot be avoided. Negative emotions are like that, but we must be aware to do not drain out our joy, our peace, our creativity by not bury the anger, the heart, and the rejection or the betrayal inside and think it's not going to contaminate and prison you. When you battle up negative emotion, they never die and never always be out of your system. It will leak out and raise surface. At some point, the, pe the prison will contaminate not just your dreams or your attitude and your vision, but it will prison your relationship with the people in your life. It will drain out your joy, your peace, and your creativity. So do not let the prison contaminate your emotion. Do not let other people drain out your joy, your peace, and creativity. We must understand that toxic let the toxic out of you. Don't battle up the bitterness. Don't battle up the guilt or the resentment. Let it go. You have to forgive and release the person and give what happened to you to God. There you are. Give it all to God. It wasn't right what they did, but you are forgiving them so you can be free. You're letting it go so you can see beauty for the asses. This is your time to be free. Yes, we can prevent those toxic, toxic people in our life from becoming our emotions so negative if you trust and believe in God is going to show you there is anything that is causing you to be better or resentful you have the Holy Spirit to help you and forgive any person who hurt you and to release to you what had happened it must be released so you can feel free let it go so you can see the beauty for the asses it is your time to be free so my point here guys to do not let our energy drain out do not drain out your joy, your peace, and your creativity. You have to let go of things. 
you have to let go of the bad things happen to you. Submit it all to God. Pray about it. Meditate about it. You know who you are. You know you have done good things to them. You have to let go of toxic people in your life. So, do, so it will not contaminate and prison your emotions. This is just a share, a reminder to each and every one of us. Forgive and let it go so you feel free. It's time for you to feel free in whatsoever hanging back back on you. You have to do not bury the hatred the anger and the rejection. You have to let it go in order for you to feel free. This is Yundel. Thank you for listening. Thank you for dropping here in my channel. I am very grateful to each and every one of you. Thank you so much for your support. I love you all and bye-bye. Like we feel the same we love what we have